point in the Holy of Holies really was the Ark of the Covenant. But the focal point of the Ark of the Covenant was the mercy seat, that flat spot on top of the lid of the Ark of the Covenant. Uh, we know it was the focal point of the Ark of the Covenant because by God's own instructions, that was the very spot, the very place where the cherubim were to focus their gaze, the cherubim that were represented on top of the Ark of the Covenant. The Bible chronicles that the Ark of the Covenant was built at Mount Sinai, the holy mountain where God descended to give Moses the Ten Commandments. It was a wooden box about four feet long, two feet high and two feet wide. The entire box was covered inside and out with pure gold. The lid was a special thick slab of gold called the mercy seat and was crowned by the powerful figures of two winged angels called the cherubim. When its construction was complete, it would house the Ten Commandments given to Moses on the top of Mount Sinai, and between the golden cherubim, God's very power would dwell. And it wasn't until blood was sprinkled by the high priest on the mercy seat, on that spot on the lid of the Ark of the Covenant, that God's wrath was satisfied by the blood of the substitute. <laughs> It was an extremely grave operation. The high priest had to be pure. He didn't dare go in without a rope tied around him that his body might be dragged out should he be struck dead in the presence of the Lord. Uh, but God in his grace and his mercy provided this means within the law of his wrath being propitiated, being satisfied by blood being sprinkled over the law or above the law. This holy object was so powerful, the Bible records, that it parted the waters of a mighty river, destroyed enemy armies, and if not handled according to God's holy specifications, destroyed those who touched it or who looked upon it. For the high priests of Israel, meeting God's presence at the Ark of the Covenant to atone for sin was central to Israel's worship. 